Hey everyone, well, I have an update on the Alarm Panel Pro situation. Um, this is absolutely ironic, and uh, but it's a good ending. So, long story short, I'll, I'll start from the end. We figured it out, we fixed the problem. And it turns out, in the end, there was actually nothing physically wrong with the Alarm Panel Pro batch 2401 and 2403 and we are able to make them all work fine and ethernet works 100 percent so here's here's the breakdown of the issue i'm gonna tell you what 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 we found what the issue was why it was so hard to figure out it took us four months essentially um and then what we're going to do about it because i know lots of you have been waiting for your ethernet capable alarm panel pro so to back up a little bit, when we first designed the Alarm Panel Pro, um, we used a reference design from a board called the WESP32, which um, you know, it's a common industry, uh, common practice in the industry. Um, when we're designing electronics, we're looking at other electronics that are similar or have similar circuitry or components, and essentially use that as a reference design. Um, WESP32 is, is created by a guy named Patrick at Silicognition. Um, he's based in Colorado and he's a good guy. We've been in communication for a number of years and so he's shared with us his schematic and some tips and that's how we built the original Alarm Panel Pro. So the Ethernet circuitry uh, on the Alarm Panel Pro comes from the WSP32 and we followed their development and I think sometime around 2020 or 2021 um, the WSP32 Patrick switched from one LAN controller to a different LAN controller, or PHY, a physical interface to the, the LAN. And the chip in question is called the RTL8201, which is a Chinese uh, LAN controller chip. Anyways, long story short, everything was fine until it wasn't. Um, I emailed Patrick uh, probably six weeks ago now as we were trying to figure out this whole situation and was like, hey, have you ever seen this problem with the RTL8201? Suddenly our, our boards are not working well on ethernet where they used to. And he was like, no, haven't seen it, um, not been an issue. So it turns out, um, and then Patrick just emailed me again a couple days ago. So this all just came, came to light. Um, actually another person in the community, I'm not sure who, also reached out to Patrick about the WSP32 and this same issue with the RTL8201 LAN controller chip. And so I'm like, wow, we're not alone. Um, so somebody else had seen the issue and apparently that person is quite a bit smarter than me or at least knows a lot more about the intricacies of these types of electronic ICs and was able to figure out that there was one tiny little error on the schematic that goes back to probably 2020 or 2021 when Patrick uh, and the WSP32 came out with the initial, um, the initial design. And the error was so easy to miss because these RTL8201, the Chinese land controller chip, worked fine even with that documented mistake. Essentially what it is is one of the pins on the chip needs to be pulled up or floating to kind of make a setting um, setting for the the external clock that that um, manages the timing of the ethernet uh, packets and things like that it was set incorrectly um, in the hardware because this pin was floating instead of pulled up where it should have been but apparently it didn't matter for a long time until uh, unbeknownst to us, the Chinese chip manufacturer of the RTL8201 made a change and all of a sudden it started enforcing a different default and that is why the Ethernet just stopped working on our most recent batch. So we were able to finally correlate with a date code on, on these chips and, and notice that ones manufactured the date codes that starts with M and previous were working fine despite the design flaw and N and later were not. So the question is, how do we fix it? Um, well, the, the, the standard answer would be, oh, we, we gotta fix that, that uh, circuit and pull that, pin to, pull that pin high instead of keep it floating. 
but there's a better way or there's another way we can fix it in firmware um, because these settings can also be set in software in what's called a register on the um, Ethernet controller chip and I have just finished patching that in the ESP home firmware and that has been submitted and merged upstream to ESP home and voila we flash the new firmware and the previously not working Ethernet all of a sudden works perfectly. So that's the crazy convoluted ironic ending to this story is that these hundreds of alarm panel boards that we thought were a lost cause and we had started liquidating them turns out with a simple firmware update can be fully functional on Ethernet again. So um, where here's here's what we're gonna do where we are now is um, we have you know a, a quite a few back orders a lot of you are waiting for a functional Ethernet alarm panel pro um, some of you have already bought one of our liquidation panels for Wi-Fi only which as soon as I finish the firmware updates and roll that out is going to magically work on Ethernet now and it's gonna be working fine so if uh, so what we're going to do is, if you purchase one of the liquidation alarm panel pros for Wi-Fi only, congratulations, you got a steal on a fantastic product at a bargain price, and with an Ethernet, with a firmware update, Ethernet's going to work. Um, if you are one of the ones who are waiting for an alarm panel pro that's functional on Ethernet, and you got one of the Wi-Fi only ones, we're going to reach out to you and ask you if you want to just update the firmware on that one and keep it. And what we'll do is we'll, we issued you guys a $79 uh, credit, um, promotional credit, which you use to purchase that Wi-Fi only board. And we'll refill your credit and then consider your order fulfilled. So you could use that credit to buy something else. And you still have your Ethernet Alarm Panel Pro. Um, for those of you who have been issued the credit but haven't used it yet, you get to keep that credit. We're going to send you the Alarm Panel Pro. Um, it's going to take us a little bit uh, to reflash all of these and update the firmware and repackage them and get them out the door, but hopefully that will happen in the next week. Um, and for those of you who are waiting for a warranty replacement because Ethernet wasn't working and you and you paid full price for an Ethernet version, uh, we will reach out to you directly to make sure you can update the firmware and get back up and running. And we probably don't need to actually physically send you a new Alarm Panel Pro. Whew. Man, I have learned a lot in this experience. Um, my background is in software. So until I, before I started Connected, I really had very minimal experience in hardware aside from tinkering with stuff around the house. Um, and I've learned a lot from lots of people. I'm a little bit shocked that, you know, myself and my team weren't able to figure this out on our own. Um, as I hired, you know, consultants and had number and Macrofab was looking at this problem a lot, and um, you know, it's it's a very minute detail that we seem to have missed, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but you know, in the end, it's a better outcome than it could have been, right? Because I thought that these boxes of alarm panel pros over here were essentially worthless. But now, all of a sudden, we have them in stock. So um, we've stopped selling the liquidation alarm panel pros because, in fact, they all work fine. And um, we've stopped issuing new $79 gift card credits. If you already have one, we're not taking anything away. Uh, you got it. Use it for whatever you want. We're going to start reaching out to people who are waiting for alarm panel pros to make sure um, either you get a new one or are able to update the firmware and get back up and running so that will take some time uh, and then we will begin you know reflashing repackaging and shipping these alarm panel pros to you and to Amazon and uh, we'll be back in stock in no time Man, uh, quite a journey. Thank you guys for your patience and understanding on this. Um, if you have any questions, you know you know where to find me on the forums, by email. Um, 
it's been a an interesting year so far for connected but i have a feeling that this is the turning point into a great 2024 so surprise um we fi we figured it out in the end and uh and have a have a great weekend and you will be getting back up and running soon um i will post more information about the firmware updates etc in the community and we'll probably have a support page for it so um it should be clear uh sooner or later how to how to make that update happen all right thanks again have a great weekend talk to you guys soon